Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to be talking about how to install the Skyrim Script Extender mod to Skyrim Special Edition, which is the primary version that most stuff runs off of now that it's been updated to run off 64-bit. So what is Skyrim Script Extender? It's the foundation that a lot of other mods are built off of. It's sort of like an API. And it's probably a good idea to have it around if you're planning on doing any extensive amount of modding of Skyrim. Two ways to install it are manually, the way that I'm going to show you in this tutorial, and also through the Nexus Mod Manager, which is probably how I would recommend you do that. I will cover how to set all that up in a different tutorial. So what we need right now is we need to download the most current build for Skyrim Special Edition which is right here. It says SE, and that stands for Special Edition. They've also got VR builds available, along with the Classic, which can actually be installed via Steam. But we want this one down here. So I'll just click on the 7-zip archive button, and it should bring up a download window that'll let you put it into a Skyrim Mods folder, which I have already done. Once you've got that downloaded, go ahead and right-click it, and unzip it with whatever program you prefer to use on zip files. If you're not sure what program to use, I recommend 7-zip, it's free, or you can also get WinRAR. And I'll just tell that to extract right here. And this itself is the mod in question. We need everything in this folder except the SRC folder, that is actually the source code, because this is an open source project. What we need is all of these files with SKSE at the front of the file name, along with the scripts folder inside of this data folder. The other folder that we're going to need is the actual Skyrim install folder on your computer. This is stored with the rest of your Steam games under Games, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim Special Edition. And all we got to do is just take all of these SKSE files, ignoring the data file for right now, and copy them over into this folder. Next, open the data folders, both of them, and copy over this scripts folder into the data folder so that everything is now installed. The last thing that we have to do, and something to keep in mind when using this, is you don't install this and use it via the regular Steam launcher. You actually have to load it via the SKSE64 loader. If you just double click on that, it should launch Skyrim normally, although mine launches inside of a window for whatever reason. And we're gonna perform one last thing here to check that it's all properly running before you can go off and start adding additional mods and being all cool and super swanky in Tamriel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the tilde key, that's a little sw squiggle, on the left side of the number one key, and that's going to bring up the console, and we're going to say get SKSE version. And as long as it tells us what version of SKSE we're running, along with the runtime information, that means that the SKSE mod is fully installed and we're ready to start adding additional mods to our folders. Now, this is the part usually where I recommend, again, that you go through and actually add things like the Nexus Mod Manager, because a lot of these mods, like every time there's even a slight update to Skyrim, a lot of these mods need to update, unless you want to constantly have to update all of them by hand or prevent Skyrim from doing regular updates, it's a lot easier just to have a mod manager go through and update those for you so you don't have to worry about it. But otherwise, that's it. That's how you install SKSE on your Skyrim Special Edition. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, throw those down in the comment section below. I'm always happy to help when people need additional information. And until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Helps me out a whole bunch. And I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody.